Well, hello. What can I say? George inspired me. Now, I, I don't think I can live up to uh, George's culinary expertise that he shared with us on Sunday, but um, I thought since we were going to be doing pancakes here on uh, Shrove Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday, that um, maybe I'd take you guys along for the, the journey. I know some of you may be planning to lift up Fairview's normal tradition of having pancakes on Wednesday, but um, figured we'd go ahead and do it Tuesday. I've got, uh, George didn't have sausages on Sunday. I do have uh, some sausages. They're not breakfast sausages, but they're uh, Tony's sausages from the market in Brantford, one of my uh, go-to places to, to get some sausages. He does them in a lot of neat flavors. And so I've got those started. I've got my ingredients rounded up here. Uh, we didn't have any uh, ready to make pancake mix, so I'm, I'm going from scratch. And I uh, thought I'd take you along on the journey and, and then share a, a blessing actually that um, Beth had found from um, uh, another church, but uh, a, a really nice little blessing for Shrove Tuesday. So I'll check in with you as things progress. Normally we'd be watching the men do uh, the men's coffee group make our, our breakfast or our, our pancake dinner for us. I wonder if they're all like George put to work making pancakes, sharing their, their pancake and sausage making skills this year. Those are smelling good. I made somewhere between a crepe and a pancake. <laughs> I'm playing and I'm recording. You know you have a recipe. I know. I have a recipe and it's somewhere between, it's mostly a crepe. Are you going to put stuff in the crepe? I might. I would love some crepes. I'm going to try using the crepe maker. You can... Um, and then I may just add some flour, because really the only difference was the amount of flour to liquid. So we're sticking with the crepes, not the pancakes. Ooh. Ah. ah. <laughs> fail. Very fail, Jim. Very fail. Oh, I forgot to, oh, maybe I forgot to open. Oh, dang it. It fell off the crepe maker oh. into the pan. So I've got this like slightly cooked block. I was all excited. It was working so well, but I forgot to oil this one. And, uh, roll the crepe. Although that shouldn't have made it fall off. You'd think that would make it stick more. Mine didn't end up perfect, but we'll try again. All right, well, it's not perfect, but it looks good. I've got my uh, my maple syrup here to, to drizzle. Woo! It did a little bit more than drizzle. And I've got my uh, my uh, fancy whipped cream maker here to give us some little... There we go. So I've 
I've got my, my pancakes and I offer this blessing. Um, it's a, a blessing written by the Reverend Dr. Sheila McGregor at Siloam United Church. And so let us pray. Loving and gracious God, tomorrow we enter into the season of Lent, a time when we journey with you to the sadness of Good Friday, to the joy of Easter. Before we move into this period of remembrance, we give thanks for the abundance of the gifts you shower upon us. We give thanks especially for one another, for those with whom we are able to share in person and those we can visit only on the phone, by letter, or with the help of technology. We give thanks for your presence with us through the power and presence of your spirit. And so we celebrate. We celebrate with a special meal of pancakes and good old fashioned Canadian maple syrup, sausages. As we give you thanks, we are mindful of those who have so much less than we do. May we commit ourselves more fully to greater generosity toward those who need our help and our support. May the Lenten season prepare us to hear your call and respond with lives lived in faithful discipleship and generous service to others. And so together we pray, amen. And so whether you're enjoying some pancakes on Tuesday or Wednesday, or uh, whether you've just come upon this uh, as part of our, our Facebook group, um, may we prepare to enter this season of Lent with hearts open to God's call on our lives now and always. Amen. Bon appétit.